Hey guys, Desi here. If you've heard about the guitar caged system and you've wondered what it's all about, watch this quick video. It's a brief intro on the caged system and how you can use it to make cool chords and play in the style of familiar songs. Okay, so quick refresher. Caged stands for the five basic forms everyone needs to know in order to be able to build chord shapes on guitar. In the open position, the chords are C, A, G, E, and D. What's that spell? Caged. Each chord form can be turned into a bar chord and moved around the fretboard. You probably already do this with the E and the A form since they form what are considered to be standard bar chords. But if you're not moving the other forms too, then you're missing out on some really cool stuff. For example, the C form can be played as a bar chord like this. Now, this bar chord is rather difficult to play. Luckily, guitarists, all the good ones you know and love, typically only use portions of it, like this. In fact, you hear this chord shape used in the opening to Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. Now, if you only play strings 4, 3, and 2, you get a shape used in John Mellencamp's Jack and Diane. Add distortion! And you can play the same shape in Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train. Three different songs in just the C form. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with the cage system. There are so many chord shapes based on the C form, as well as chord shapes based on the other forms in the cage system. Now, some guitarists teach the cage system as a means to arrange scales on the fretboard too. And there is some debate about whether or not that's the best way to play scales. But first and foremost, the caged system is the natural way that chords are formed on the fretboard. And every guitarist needs to know this. If this video helped you understand what you need to know to become a better guitar player, then click like or leave a comment below and stay tuned for more.